Good day, everybody. How are we doing? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about a, an integration problem on air pressure. So without further ado, I'll share my computer screen with you. It says air pressure decreases continuously with height above the sea level at a rate proportional to the air pressure at that height. The barometer reads 30 inches at sea level and 15 inches at 1800 feet. Find the barometric pressure at a height of 35,000 feet above the sea level. So from the given information, we can write the change of air pressure with height dp with dh, derivative of p with respect to h, this is h, is equal to k times p. Okay, this is given to us. So we can integrate dp over p is equal to integration of k dh or ln of p is equal to kh plus c. Okay. Plus c. That is kh plus c. Hence, p, or we can write p is equal to c1 times e k h okay so ln p is equal to k h plus c or p is equal to c1 times e k h c1 is just an integration constant now again from the given information at h equal to 0 p of 0 P of zero is equal to 30 inches is given to us, is equal to C1 multiplied by E K multiplied by zero. Or 30 is equal to C1. Okay. So, the equation for pressure as a function of height is now equal to 30 E K H. It's also given that pressure at a height of 18,000 feet is equal to 15 is equal to 30 equal to 30 E K times 18,000. Okay. Or <laughs> dividing by 30 all on both sides, we get 15 over 30 is equal to E K times 18,000. Okay. Now 15 over 30 is equal to half or half is equal to E K times 18,000. Now, if you take the natural logarithm of both sides, we get ln half is equal to uh, K times 18,000. Now you divide uh, by 18,000 on both sides, you get K is equal to ln half by 18,000. Okay, 18,000. Or K is equal to minus ln 2 by 18,000. Okay. So, minus ln 2 by 18,000. So, the equation for P as a function of H then becomes P H is equal to 30 
E for K, we write minus ln 2. Minus ln 2 by 18,000 times H. Okay. So, we are asked to find out pressure at a altitude of uh, 35,000 feet. So, pressure at 30,000 feet now equal to, or 30,000, okay, or is equal to 30, e to the power of minus ln2 divided by 18,000. Okay, maybe I should uh, uh, go to the next line, right? So let me erase this. So let me erase all of this. So I will erase all of this. I'll erase these lines and then move. So uh, let's uh, now go to this and then move somewhere over here and do my work here. So we can now write. P of H is equal to 30 E for K, I write ln 2 by 18,000 times H, okay? So P at 35,000 is 30 times E to the minus ln 2, 18,000 times 35,000, okay? So, which is equal to 30 e to the power of uh, e to the power of minus ln 2 times 35 divided by 18. So, I'll get my calculator and do this calculation right for you. Give me a minute. So again, this is a third, uh, 30 multiplied by E exponent to the power of minus ln2 times 35 divided by 18. So first we find out what is ln of 2. So ln of 2. is 0 0.693 times 35 divided by 18. So this is minus 30, no equal to, sorry equal to, so let me erase this, or let me start somewhere over here, is equal to 30 e minus ln2 times 35 divided by 18 is minus 
1.347. So then I will calculate the exponent of minus 1.347 and multiply that by 30. So second, so e to the power of minus 1.347. Okay. Multiply that by 30. And that will be 7.8. So, this is equal to pressure at 35,000 is 7.8 inches. Okay. So, let me see if I can take care of some of this. I can erase this. So, let me do this again. So that there is no confusion. Okay. So, let me go back to my pen. So, pressure at 35,000 is equal to 30 e to the power of minus ln 2 divided by 18,000 multiplied by 35,000. Okay. So, this is further equal to 30 e to the power of minus ln 2 divided by 18 times 35 is equal to, that's where I need my calculator. So it is uh, e e to the power of minus 1.347 times 30. Okay. So 30 divided by e to the power of 1.347. Okay. So 30 divided by uh, e to the power of 1.347 is equal to 7.8. So the whole thing, pressure at 35,000 feet is 7.8 inches of mercury. Okay. I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, please uh, write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this solution, then please uh, mention my channel to your friends so that they can subscribe to my channel. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'm coming back next time with another interesting problem. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.